Welcome and thanks for purchasing the Appliance Pro Air Remote 2. In this guide, we are going to show you how to pair your remote to your heat pump using the auto search method. Stay watching at the end of the guide for some handy tips and some troubleshooting help if you are having any difficulties. This is the auto search method. Use this guide if your heat pump is not listed inside our manual. If your brand is listed, stop now and use our code input pairing method outlined in a separate video. Okay, let's start by adding some fresh batteries. Slide the front panel completely off to reveal the battery cabin. Slide cover back on. Now, let's get familiar with the keypad under the front flap. Simply press and hold the select key for about five seconds. Release when you see the code numbers start to advance. The remote is now scanning through its library of 2000 codes, looking for a match to your heat pump. Make sure the remote is pointed towards your heat pump while it is scanning. When a possible correct code comes up, your heat pump will turn on. Immediately when this happens, press any key to stop the codes advancing. Now we just need to make sure it is the exact right code. To do this, we try some other functions. Swing function. That is perfect. Fan speed. Perfect. We'll just try temperature up and down. All working. It's not unusual to find that a function doesn't work. It just means it's not the exact code for your model and you'll need to continue the scanning sequence from where you left off. To do this, turn the heat pump off, then press and hold the select key for five seconds and the sequence will restart. Repeat these steps until you find the exact code that works everything. If the code advances before you could stop the sequence, you can go back and manually enter a code number. This is covered in a separate guide titled Code Input Method. In some cases, a heat pump might turn on, but you can't turn it off. That just means it isn't the right code. Just restart the scanning sequence from where you left off by pressing and holding the select key for five seconds. In this situation, your heat pump turning off will indicate a successful code to stop at and test. Stay watching for some great hints, tips and troubleshooting that will help get the most from your new remote. If the remote display shows Fahrenheit to change back to Celsius, Simply press the CF key. Auto. Cooling. Dehumidify. Fan only. Heating. Here are some common solutions if you have tried all of your brand codes with no success. Check power to your heat pump. Are you 100% sure it is connected? Are there lights or a display indicating that there is power to your unit? Is the heat pump power switch in the on position at your switchboard? Does the unit start manually from the indoor unit with no remote? Some units need to reset. Just turn the heat pump off and back on at the switchboard. Check batteries and replace if the backlight is not a bright white color. If you are having trouble stopping the code sequence before it progresses to the next number, try letting it run through the codes uninterrupted and write down the code each time your heat pump turns on or off. Then test each of these codes using our code input method covered in a separate guide. Want to save money and control your heat pump from anywhere? Have a look at the new Sensibo Sky Wi-Fi controller on our website.